welcome to another in the series soup and chat a place where we talk about the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. It's our pleasure this afternoon to be coming into your homes and to be talking about the goodness of the Lord. Welcome to another in the series, Sip and the Chat. It is indeed our pleasure this afternoon to be joining you in your living room as you sit. We want to you know, ask you to go get your cup of coffee as well as we sit to discuss another very important issue. Sip and Chat seeks the focuses on life issues and the power of God to redeem, restore, and revitalize. So once again, welcome to another in the series, Sip and Chat. This afternoon, I have with me one of my good friends. Uh, we have been friends not for a very long time, but our friendship has been so meaningful in the short time that we have been together and looking forward to many more years as we continue to work together in the vineyard of God. So this morning, this afternoon, rather, my guest is my friend, my good friend, Shanique Francis. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. It's such a pleasure to have her this afternoon. And congratulations are in order as well oh, yes, on is. your new appointment. I'm so proud of all of you guys, you know, being ordained and everything, getting these new ministerial offices. It's such a pleasure. And it just shows you that, you know, as as, as you go through life, God always has these surprise. So I'm Definitely. very, very proud of Definitely. you. It's an honor. I mean, this is definitely a surprise and it's a blessing indeed from God to be ordained as a minister in this season. I know the sky's the limit and it only gets better from here. Sure. All right. So, Shani, one of the things that I want to talk about today is something that we don't pay a lot of attention to. Right. And it's the power of friendship. And one of the things I always say is that God addresses every issue. If it's sickness, there is a scripture for it. If it is money, there is a scripture for it. If it is loneliness, there is a scripture for it. If it is a lazy person, there is a scripture for it. Whatever issues there are, there is always a scripture that um, addresses that issue. And the power of friendship and, and relationship is no different. Yes. And the Bible speaks about, let me open this afternoon with a quote, um, as well as scripture rather, taken from the book of Proverbs. It says, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin but there is a friend who stick it closer than a brother and we all know that name his name is Jesus, Jesus. Yes. right so Shani once again I want to say to you that I do appreciate you and we start off on that note today that people sometimes do not understand the power of positive alignment and relationship with people right. and I have found out and it's something that even in this COVID period that we really really want to endorse that People need people. One of the things that we know that is emerging from a psychological perspective in this season is this whole matter of how, just how the people are going into this depressive mood, this depressive state. Yeah. And there are some things in life that we can't really control. You know, you might have this good job today, but for whatever, something like the pandemic can cause you to lose your job. It could just be the, the, how the market is going, you know, right. and somebody could lose your job. But when you know that you have somebody in your oh, corner, man. that means so much. And that's what I want to talk about today. Talk to us about what is the meaning of friendship from where you sit. From where I sit, um, Pastor Tomlinson, friendship is very important. It's the key to survival. And one thing I'll say to you is that friendship teaches you a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. When you have good friends and they are true to you, they tell you who you are mm -hmm. and you believe and you accept and you inspire to grow. Right. Coming from the country where I grew up, they say one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. <laughs> yes. It goes a little bit further to say, show, show me a company and I tell, and you, who I you, tell are. you who you are. And there's another one that said, birds of a feather flock together. Flock together. So, so I feel they are 19 or whatever. So, so people look at you and the company that you walk with to define you. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you in all can say, oh, I'm smart, I'm brilliant, I'm cute, I'm, I'm, I'm humble. But the crowd that you walk with defines you. Mm -hmm. And that really means to me friendship. Right. Because the people that you choose to have around you, to show your love, to inspire, to motivate you, to keep you grounded, 
are really your friends. And I think, Shanice, that everybody needs somebody. And I really want to say that to all our viewers as you're joining us this afternoon, that every person should have a confidant. Yes. You know, people like to say to you that, you know, you, you, you can't trust nobody. <laughs> I, I like how you stick there, you know, because I was coming from that place. And that will keep you in bondage, you know. Mm -hmm. I tell you, Satan use something sometimes to hold us down. And the very thing about friendship, even our parents too, from time to time, will say, oh, you don't need a friend. Oh, God, my husband must sometimes say to my daughter, your book and your pencil is your friend because <laughs> of his past relationship. But, but, but it's important for us to understand that even when you made those statements, your book and your pen are your friends. I, 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 when you're going to what you're going to, you can't talk to your book and your pen. And that's what my little eight year old would say, Daddy, I can't play with it. <laughs> I, I can't talk it to it. It kind of reciprocates. Can I tell you? So, but 1 Corinthians 3 13, 13 says, Do not be misled by bad company that corrupts good character. Mm -hmm. so, 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 we get misled or we get angry or we stay back or hold back on the whole beautiful aspect of friendship because of our experience experiences mm -hmm. and as i said before that happened to me right, right. at 14 years old i i my grandmother passed and i dived into friendship bad company mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and before and you one thing is true there's always two groups of friends yes yes positive and, and negative the group, right they come like the, the, the thing you use to charge a car there's the black right. side and, the, and then there's the, the, the red side. But there's always two currents moving. So yeah. tell us about what happened with and, that. And, and I chose those friends. And, and Pastor, I was going into third form. Never had a whole heap of friends because I was growing sheltered. But my grandmother passed and I chose to have friends. Mm -hmm. Wrong company. <laughs> when I say wrong company, <laughs> wrong <laughs> company. And I, I, I remember I traveled that summer and I came back to Jamaica and I brought back more things for those friends than my family. Mm -hmm. And what happened is that a rumor broke out in the community that I was pregnant. At 14. At 14. Pastor, I wanted to kill myself. And not one of those friends said to me, Shani, I've heard this and that's about you. Mm -hmm. They came and they took and they were the ones spreading the rumor. Mm -hmm. And my mother was ecstatic. She was angry. She was mad. And it boxed me into a corner never to have friends. Mm -hmm. Never to have friends. I remember when we just got aligned mm -hmm. through prior. And I remember one day I had to post in the group to you guys that, listen, you are teaching me something that I've never known before. Mm -hmm. I've had one friend and she migrated and we remain close, but I've never had anybody close to me that I can say to them, listen, this and so is happening. Pray for me now. And when you tell them you don't feel judgmental, I could say to you guys, guys, I'm taking on something that I've never taken on in a long time. And that is friendship. And you know what that allows? It allows you to breathe. You know, it's so it, important. It allows you to trust. Mm -hmm. And I always say to somebody, for you to trust your friends, you are able to trust God. Mm -hmm. And when you trust God, you will send the right people at the right time. At the right time. Mm -hmm. You know, it, what you said is so important that sometimes life experiences have a way to box us in a corner. Yes. So we have this one bad experience with someone and we say, you know, I, I, you know, in Jamaica, we have we do all kind of strange things. So one of the things that we do is that we bite our ten finger yes. and we say never again, we'll no make, more we'll friendship. Make her ex in the and we make our ex in the sun and say never again. But what that does mentally and psychologically and emotionally is that it relegates us to a to a private sphere and we are alone in this silo. There there is no there is no relationship, there is no friendship. But I really want to emphasize that. People need people. When we think about the body, the body has different, different parts, you know, yes. very unique parts, our eyes, our ears, our hands, our feet. But guess what? Every part, no matter how our lashes are important, yes. you know, to keep it dust away from our eyes. eyes, every part of our body is so very important. And so what we want to say, we're not saying to you, go out there and make friendship friends with a lot of people but we are saying to you that you need to understand that in this life you cannot do it alone i know this is also interesting 
we talk a lot about Facebook, right? Yes. And one of the things that persons talk a lot about is that they try to track the number of likes. likes. But, you know, I have come to understand that love. people have a lot of likes, but not a lot of friends. And likes is not love. And like is not love. And so, because... It shows it inadvertently that people are see, are searching for affirmation. Yes. So what they do is that they, you know, it's good to be near social space. So they go on the social space and they have these people who are following them, following, following them, following them. But the day that they get something that's negative, they hold on to that and they, they don't, the same person who they had 6 and 20 and yes. 30 likes from, now they recognize that they don't have any support system. Right? So be careful. You look for friends in the wrong places. And, and, and as you touch on that, that is how so many young people and even adults too are privy to suicides. They, they have depression because mm -hmm. of what? They are alone by themselves. Mm -hmm. And Doc, I, I, at, at 14, I was suicidal. I had the wrong set of friends. And then when I decided not to have them alone, who became my friend? The devil in my mind. Right. And and that's the thing too. One of the things that people do, right, is that sometimes when they can't find somebody physically to connect with, they, they do str strange things. True. Strange things. And then they, because people, it just goes to show you that people need people. You have a look at, at a child who has a doll, right? And then, you know, if there's nobody alone, what does she do? She, she begins to, to talk to the doll. You know, the doll and her goes to the market. It goes to show you that everybody needs somebody. And, you know, when we talk about friendship, that person sometimes doesn't have to be in the same Space. social class as you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've had some good friends like so they don't have to be the same age either True. because I've had some good friends who were elderly people and I would go beside them and they would speak wisdom, yes. you know, yes. wisdom. And so sometimes when we, why people have the wrong friends because they say, okay, you have a BIMA. I want a friend with a BIMA because I'm in the BIMA club yes. or I have a friend who is a, a corporate exec. So I try to mingle with those people. But sometimes some of, some of, some of your true who persons who really have your back are some people who look beyond all of what they see, the titles, the everything and see mm. the Soul. And and it is true, you know, because I remember back in high school, in, in the whole scenario, 14, 15, and yeah, my mommy coming down on me, and I, I, I told her I had one little friend, but uh, sometimes they weren't even being true. I remember the nurse became my friend. Right. So the nurse, and every day my lunchtime would be in that, 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 that office to that. They, they call it the sick bay. Mm -hmm. That's where I would spend my lunch time. When, when 2.30 comes when I'm on the evening shift, I make sure I go to nurse and say, okay, tomorrow I'll see you. Because what? I could pour my heart into nurse. And I said, God God is very humorous or, or, or really mysterious because he would place significant persons in my life to charter my life. I want to touch on something. One of the reasons why persons don't form relationship is a matter of trust. Yes. And we want to say you that there are persons out there who you can trust sometimes one one episode and based on your response yes. can affect your entire life True. right it's like somebody who has loved and because they have lost they don't want to love mm -hmm. again you know True. and that just keep them away from the the joy of knowing that somebody cares for them and the peace and the peace that comes with it and sometimes another reason why a person sometimes can't can't reach out and form healthy relationship to is that they sometimes can't trust themselves and look at it everything they read they read into mm -hmm. she tell me she, she loves me but look how she look at me exactly and that's insecurity uh... insecurity and so once you are secured about yourself then you can open up yourself and you can love again. It's, you know, as we talk about this whole matter of friendship, right? Remember, people need people. You need somebody to pour into. You need your support system. You need that person. To, you need a cheerleader. I think it's Omi. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, don't listen to the radio. I think it's Omi. He sings a, he sings a song that says um about cheerleader. There's somebody to be in your corner. If you watch a fight, right, a boxing match, when the person is fighting, right, and they get real punch and punch and punch and punch. The when 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 he's down in a man and the the the, the, refer the umpire gives that count and he scrolls into his corner, 
When you see that ref, his coach comes over and tat, him. and tat him, that's what we need sometimes. That's why friendship is important because sometimes life have a way to give us an uppercut, a jab here, a left hook, and a right hook. And then when you wake up in the morning, oh my you God. see that text that says it's not over. Until I'm thinking about God's, you. Oh my God. Today yes, we salute good friends. friends. We really, really salute good friends because I've had those moments when, boy, it was like, it was just rain on my parade and it's like, where do I turn? Do I turn to the left or to the right? And then you just get this encouraging message, you know, you know, and something that really gives you like fuel yes. to go oh, the uh -huh. extra mile. So when we talk about friendship, we're not talking about gossiping. We're not talking about those kinds of things. We're talking about people who infuse you with energy. When you feel like, boy, I feel like crawling. They say, get up, man. Or even some friends that sees you for where you ought to be in the future. Talk to us about that. Because I'm looking at you now and I see you somewhere great. <laughs> and you yourself, I say, me, me. No, right. I'm not comfortably in my own skin. Right. When, when like a snake, when a snake sheds them right, skin, right, right, right. you are in your shedding stage going yeah. to another level. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. We want friends that will push us, that will see us beyond ourselves and even put us in a space that we're afraid to go. Right, right. Nobody likes to be in the uncomfortable zone. Oh my God. But sometimes it is in the unknown that we have self-discovery, yes. that we discover who we are. And guess what? It is people who propel us to those to those heights. And and you know, as you said that, I, I, I just have to take a look at David and Jonathan. Mm -hmm. And one of the key things I remember is that Jonathan died, mm -hmm. but he left a son. He left a son and David remembered him mm -hmm. david remembered him because of his covenant right. and that's the kind of friendship we want we want friendship that will go on for a lifetime friends that turn into family oh lord i saw a lovely quote that that, that we have we make them as friends but they become lifelong part members of our family Families. but you know people will say yeah, do I really need friends? Guess what? Even Jesus needed friends. Yes. He needed company. When he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, the great Jesus, mm -hmm. the undisputed, undefeated, everywhere champion of the world, Lord, the King of Kings Lord and of the Lord, Lord of Lords. When he was going through his ordeal on his way to Golgotha, he was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he said to his 12 disciples at the time yeah because judas was there too right. he asked them to pray with him yes so if if jesus needed support why we must act like we're a rumble even even rumble have a tonto and a wonder woman have a, everybody have them little support <laughs> Pastor, and as you said that you know i remember because after you talk about jesus but it's like you're you're just waking me up with these nuggets of my life because even at my workplace you you know you go to your work and your work sometimes carries such bad energy but even in attaining my house it was a lady that aspired to be my friend my mentor that came one day and said listen here's that piece of paper don't open it in the office open it when you go in your car mm -hmm. and when i go in my car she wrote on the paper it's time to get your house this is the process tomorrow i will take you to the lot and you look at the house and we start the process if it wasn't my friend i don't know if i would own a house today but you know what this is also important how do we identify good friends we identify good friends because the bible says out of the abundance of the heart the, the mouth speaks. speaking so if you are with somebody whether it be husband husband can be a good friend yes. whether it just be somebody from church from work or wherever it, listen what they say about you you know i have this friend you know every day i say lily give me a million dollars no? So what are you saying? You the richness. <laughs> and, and, and I like how you touch on husband because coming on this Christian journey, it was my husband's situation that made me seek Jesus. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about a friend. It's my only partner from high school up until now. So he's not my true friend. High school love. High school love into marriage. So, you know, he knows the new kind of crannies. And we, we had a situation that you call it a hoppercut, I call it a kick over. Mm -hmm. But I remember one day he said to me, he's like, he sees the stages that I will go. And he said to me, you, you're supposed to speak in tongues. And I said to him, say, but if it is in the Lord's will, I will do it. Mm -hmm. The next day I spoke in tongues. Mm -hmm. One day he said to me, you know, I see you sitting where the minister sits. Mm -hmm. And I said, really? And I said, yes, I'm an ordained minister now. Mm -hmm. the, the Sunday when I got the letter, the Monday morning, 
for the ordination. The Monday morning, he sat on the bed and I was at the dress and he said to me, you're a chosen prophet. One of the few that have re that are remaining now. That's mm -hmm. where you're going. So you see, and so this is somebody who believed in you and who be and, and, and different speaks increments in your you. life. He speaks over you. So people need good friends. I'll send about my friend, right? So yes. he always says to me, Lily, beg a million dollar. Lily, I want this, I want that, because he has a business, right? Mm. So <laughs> so I always laugh. And you know, the other day he said to me, Lily, I want some money. Love, love, no fun, you know. And I was like, I had to smile. I say, you know what? I thank you that you really believe in me that i, I have so much money friendly. so you know and it's, it's just it's just important that sometimes you just be around people that have big dreams and they push yes. their dreams on you as well and you just feel like boy you feel like you can't fly I'm you feel like you feel you feel like you get energy to prop you up like you can just take off and so you know to, to our viewers out there what we want to say to you today that listen sometimes some of you are at a place in your life now and maybe it is because of a bad friendship or a bad relationship. Yes. This, even on this program, we want to say to you that there is still hope out there as it relates to relationship. There is still that person who is probably, you're, you're still wondering right now, do I trust that voice? Yes. And the best voice to trust is Jesus. Jesus. And sometimes what we say is that Jesus is not physically here, but sometimes I believe he he puts his, he puts his spirit into people. Or I to am to show. Right. And form positive alignment. Yes. And, and that helps you to really, really grow. And a true friend, according to Proverbs 17, 17, says loves at all times. Loves at that That is kind of hard sometimes, you know. <laughs> no. Because guess what? Sometimes, you know, but it's true. Because sometimes, you know, your friends will say to you, say, Lily, where you do a while ago? To utter rubbish, utter rubbish. And you vex. And you vex. But guess what? When you when you sit down and you reconcile what was said to you, you recognize that it is for your good. And I want to emphasize this as well. N so not because somebody is your friend. It doesn't mean they're not going to correct you. And they are going to correct and they, you. And they're supposed to correct you. Because guess what? If you have, 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 a, have, a, have a limp and because of my emotions you don't want to tell me that i have a limp what am i going to do go out there looking tattered well, you go out there looking mean, you wouldn't mean you wouldn't mean me any well. good and so that's what we're saying we're saying that even in friendship when people people speak harsh to you a rose doesn't just about that you know mm -hmm. go the, through stages a, a, a rose go through stages but guess what a rose has to be watered yes when the water coming down and it don't always feel nice but guess what over time with the right the kind of nurture and blossom it comes into full bloom so as we, we speak about this issue of friendship, we're saying people need people. We're saying friends help to bring out the best in you, the right kinds of friends. They help to bring, to bring you to the next level. They wake you up when you want to feel, when you feel like you want sleep. And I don't just mean physical sleep. I mean emotional sleep. sleep. When you, when you say, boy, this is my 99th interview. I'm not going, I'm going to be a bum. And you're throwing yourself that pity party and just yeah. want to stay right there. There are the ones that pull you out of your corner and say, come and try again. Wait Wake up. You know who you are. Wake up. Some person or somebody out there this afternoon just need to wake up. Yes. It don't matter. And even and and, and and you know, we know that we're in the COVID period. But guess what? I've come to appreciate that. Guess what? There's a ch the Chinese word for success is also part of the, ch the word for failure. Yeah. In the midst of uh, adversity, there is always this, this 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 residue of hope, mm. and that's what we need to always tap into. That's what friends help us to do. This this, this residue of hope, mm. and that's what we need to always tap into. That's what friends help us to do. They help to bring out the best in us in the worst the best in us in the worst, worst of, of times. times. And there's a little song that I love that says, "I pray for you, you pray for me." Mm -hmm. So that's what friends is all about we don't have to see each other we don't have to talk every day but as long as i have you on my mind and you have me on your mind that's all that really matters and as you said before what friend doesn't mean one mm -hmm. you can't have a friend for every single situation right a friend for your hair a friend for your nails a friend <laughs> to cry with a friend to, to 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 sit and just talk a friend to motivate you a friend that will take you to the next level in life so right. today i'm really endorsing friendship coming 
from a place where I didn't believe in it, but now I see the importance of it because as you see, what I know about Elijah and Elisha is the mantle. Something falls from your friend onto you. Mm -hmm. There's some attitude or attribute that is inside of them that will pass from them to you and from you to them. So it is important. We need each other. Iron sharpness, iron. We, you catch fire, I catch fire. We blossom together. We bloom together. We grow together. Boy, I'm, I'm just so, I'm just so. You don't talk about friendship. You also talk about love. When love. you talk about love, I get really mushy. Yes, yes, yes. You can't do <laughs> But you it. know what? I just want to say to somebody out there this afternoon who's watching the program. You don't have to go through whatever it is that you're going through alone. Yes. There's always somebody who has been there. There's always somebody who is who, who can who can add that glow to your day. Yes. And that's what we want to endorse today, the power of friendship. Some persons have powerful high school friendships, some persons from, from college days. But listen, everybody needs somebody yes, yes every no matter and remember like we said don't 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 form friendship based on on what you just on on on, on what is the, the visibles look at some of the intangibles the heart of the person the soul of the person yes. and then you find that if you look beyond the physical and see to get closer to the inner man then you will form better and more sustainable friendship i close up with this story when you have friendships you will have struggles. Yes, 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 yes. Ruth and Naomi taught us that. But you know what? Ruth saw beyond Naomi's, Naomi's darkness. Yes. As she was journeying back to Moab, she tried to tell Ruth, don't come with me. Because she loved her so much yes. that she was saying, listen, don't bother come to this dark place that I'm going with me because of what she, you know, what had happened to her. But guess what? Ruth saw beyond Naomi's bitter. Ten, yes. She saw beyond her Mara. Yes. And because she had spoken so much about the love of God in her. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Oh God, because no matter what you're going through, you know, what is in you will always it's flow out, out of, of you. you. Right? And she said, you know what? Please don't even encourage me to leave you. Because wherever thou goest, I, go. I will go. And wherever thou, thy people shall be, shall be my people. people. And most of all, this is my nugget thy god, god shall, shall be my, my god. god so this afternoon as we hear rapping on sip and chat endorsing the power of friendship we want to say to you if, if you can't find no physical friend which is really very 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 almost close impossible remember that jesus is a friend who stick it closer than a brother. Right. And he says, even if you make it, David said, even if I made my bed in hell, oh, God, it's a God. wow, he will be there with me. I don't know what you're going through this afternoon. It could have caused you tears, pain, but I want to say to you that and God you know, is always standing by. He just want friends. to be your friend this afternoon. Yes. Thank you once again for joining us on another exciting series as we delve into another life issue, the power of friendship. Thank you so very much. God bless you.